People tend to think of evolution as something that happened in the past. It turned humans from weird frog things to mammals and then to the beautiful upright naked things that can write novels and eat Oreos that we are today. But in reality, evolution is an ongoing process that continues to affect humans today. Before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon to be notified of amazing information that can fill your brain. Amazing! Number 10. Women can give birth earlier. Northeast of Quebec, there's a tiny island by the name of Ilo Kud. Between the years of 1799 and 1940, the church there kept really detailed records of the residents of the island. And while at the time I'm sure there were people that were like, why do I have to write all this stuff down? I would way rather just be churning butter. Today, scientists are really glad they did this. This data allowed scientists to track the age at which women had their first born children. The age slowly but steadily dropped from 26 down to 22. The study supports the idea that these increasingly younger birth ages were influenced by genetic changes caused by natural selection. So it's not too improbable to think that, in the future, women may be able to give birth much earlier than they can now. Number 9. Humans smell worsened. No, not in the sense that we smell bad now. Really, now that regular showering is a thing, we probably all smell better than people used to way back in the day. We do, however, have a weakened sense of smell. Unlike the majority of animals, we just don't need our sense of smell to survive in the world anymore. A tiger, for example, really needs his nose so that he can track down animals to tear to shreds and eat in the jungle. But even if you had no sense of smell at all, you could still drive to the grocery store and buy some Oreos. It's similar to how cave-dwelling fish, after living generation after generation with no light, gradually lost their eyes because they didn't need them anymore. Number 8. Evolution is making our brains smaller. What has allowed humans to dominate the earth and live at the top of the food chain? We don't have claws, sharp teeth, or detachable limbs like other cooler animals. So what gives? Our intelligence is what's allowed us to rise to the top. However, physically speaking, our brain has been shrinking for the past 20,000 years. The total change adds up to the size of an entire tennis ball. Scientists don't think this means we're getting dumber, and aren't exactly sure why this is happening. One theory is that the existence of society helps us get by easier, and so our brains simply need less space. Interestingly enough, the brain size of cats and dogs also shrinks when they are domesticated, so this could simply be a byproduct of living in civilization rather than living in the wild the way humans did for the majority of our history. Number 7. Evolution could help get rid of smoking and Alzheimer's. In a recent study that tracked the smoking and Alzheimer predisposition genes, meaning tracking people who are genetically predisposed to be more likely to get addicted to smoking or get Alzheimer's, it was found that people with these genes tend to die younger, which isn't entirely surprising, seeing as how smoking is obviously related to all kinds of health hazards, and Alzheimer's can equally be a very dangerous disease. But because this is the case, theoretically these genes should gradually die out, since natural selection will want to preserve genes that keep people alive longer, and since the longer you're alive, the higher the chances that you'll reproduce, which is what natural selection is all about. Well, maybe. People with these genes still tend to die after childbearing age, and natural selection doesn't care much about what happens after that. However, there is the so-called grandmother hypothesis, which puts forward the idea that in most societies, the elderly took care of children because their parents had stuff to do. This extra attention would mean that those children with grandparents would be more likely to survive, thus giving natural selection a reason to care about old people after all. Number 6. Alcohol flush. The alcohol flush reaction, which also goes by the name of the Asian glow, isn't just a trope from your Japanese cartoons. It's a real scientifically confirmed genetic trait. Roughly 36% of East Asians, meaning Chinese, Japanese, and Koreans, have this trait, which causes facial flushing and nausea as a response to drinking alcohol. Just drinking alcohol, not even getting wasted or anything like that. As it turns out, it may be a great thing. People with this trait, which is a deficiency of the enzyme ALDH2, are also at a greater risk of getting esophageal cancer as a result of drinking alcohol. So the Asian glow can serve as a warning sign that you need to stop drinking so that you don't get cancer. Scientists believe that this mutation is recent enough to have occurred after the development of agriculture, which is of course the thing that made producing alcohol possible. Number 5. Higher Elevation Breathing 
Tibetans are pretty hardcore. They live in one of the least friendly, least populated regions on Earth, the Himalayan mountains. Luckily for them, they don't have to get by on pure grit alone, as evolution seems to have helped them deal with the oxygen low air up there. Researchers conducted a study that compared indigenous Tibetans who lived above 10,000 feet to Chinese people from Beijing. These two groups of people are genetically very close, but Beijing is just about above sea level, which is where most of us normal people live. The researchers found that Tibetan people's blood produced more hemoglobin protein, which is responsible for transporting oxygen within the body. They estimated that this mutation could have occurred as recently as 3,000 years ago, making them better adapted for surviving in high elevation places. Number 4 evolution is helping us resist diseases. Since evolution wants to make sure that you live to have children, it only makes sense that it would want to make sure you didn't die of disease before you could do that. One disease that evolution is helping us beat, all using the toolbox of our own genetics, is malaria. Sickle cell anemia, a genetic trait, will keep your red blood cells safe from malaria. And it isn't just sickle cell anemia that can help humans not fall prey to malaria. There are more than a hundred other genes that will change how red blood cells break down, thus making it more difficult for malaria to find its way into us. As people with these traits continue not to die of malaria, they'll be able to have kids that won't either, and so on. Number 3. Blue Eyes while you probably don't think of blue eyes as being a mutation like you would the other things in this video, they are, and they're a fairly recent one at that. Scientists have determined that blue eyes have only been around since 6,000 to 10,000 years ago. Not only that, it came from a single ancestor, meaning we just have one single person to thank for the existence of blue-eyed people all over the world. The mutation hit the OCA2 gene, which is one that codes protein that gives eyes color. Switch this protein off, and you will end up with blue instead. While while having blue eyes didn't make us better at surviving in the wild, because blue eyes work in a similar way to recessive traits, blue-eyed fathers can be more sure that their kids were their own. Number 2. Drinking Milk while drinking milk is one of the defining traits of being a mammal, humans are actually the only species on Earth that continues to do so after infancy. 75% of the world's population is actually lactose intolerant. This 75%, like most mammals, stops producing lactase in adulthood, which is the enzyme you need to break down lactose. Luckily for those of us who enjoy milk, the mutation that popped up 7,500 years ago in what is now Hungary allowed some people to digest milk as adults. This may not really seem like a big deal, but for humans back then, it was, since milk is a calorie-dense, high-protein food that likely helped them get through those chilly European winters. Before I reveal the most amazing example, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to this channel. We upload amazing fact field videos every day, so don't miss out on learning some amazing new information. Also, make sure to hit that bell icon to be part of the notification squad. Number 1. Wisdom Teeth If you hated having your wisdom teeth removed, well, too bad. But it's possible that people in the future won't have to deal with this, since evolution may just remove them for us. A mutation appeared just a few thousand years ago that prevents wisdom teeth from ever appearing, so your family never gets the chance to take videos of you while you're loopy from pain meds. Only one in four people today are missing at least one wisdom tooth. Inuits from the northeastern regions of Greenland, Canada, and Alaska are the most likely to be born without wisdom teeth, but evolution has played a role on our teeth long before this. When people started to settle down, and started eating more meat as opposed to mostly eating plants, evolution helped us get in sizes. This is also why people have canine teeth, in order to hold meat steady while we bite into it. Perhaps the strangest mutation that can occur to our teeth is what's known as supernumerary teeth, seen here on five-year-old Jarvan. The condition causes the mouth to be filled entirely with teeth, probably not something we'd evolve to have in the future. Now that you're slightly uncomfortable from having to look at supernumerary teeth, how do you feel about evolution's effect? on modern humans. Do you have high hopes for something like wings or superpowers? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.